Hello and welcome to SDK TV, powered by Data Meaning and brought to you by Darren Holmblad. Today we're going to talk about customizing MicroStrategy Authentication, Part 2, and we're going to focus on the Credential Mapper. So the agenda is a basic overview of the Credential Mapper class. Why customize Credential Mapper instead of Get Session State? And a brief demonstration of the Credential Mapper class. So the Credential Mapper is used to customize the authentication workflow. As we learned in part one, the authentication workflow for a MicroStrategy portlet is different than MicroStrategy web out of the box as it does not leverage the ESM. The Credential Mapper is deployed inside of MicroStrategy portlet and the portlet must be configured to utilize this Credential Mapper class, which I'll show you later. The Credential Mapper is executed prior to the get session state task being called and you can set request parameters consumed by get session state. So why do you want to use a credential mapper instead of just relying on the custom get session state task call? Well, the important thing is the credential mapper is actually deployed within the MicroStrategy portlet. And as a result, you'll have access to the portal server context. What I mean is you can access the native API that's available from, from the portal server. This will allow you to obtain information, maybe about the user who's logged in, maybe about their session. One scenario would be to programmatically log in the user based on their portal session or their portal server user ID. So users or developers can create a credential mapper class and using the SharePoint or LifeRay API, depending on your portal server, you can programmatically access the current user and obtain their ID. And based on that ID, you can generate a MicroStrategy session. As a result, we have then created a single sign-on workflow and the authentication process is irrelevant to the end user. Now we're going to give a quick demonstration of the Credential Mapper. In previous demonstrations, we've showed how to deploy the LifeRay portal server and the MicroStrategy portlet to that portal server. So today we're going to deploy the Credential Mapper on top of that environment. So what we can do is navigate to our Navigate to our LifeRay portal installation. Inside that we will have our Tomcat installation. And inside Tomcat we have web apps and MSTR portlet underscore LifeRay. In here we have web and if and we have some demonstration or demo Java classes that were included with the installation. So you can see here under this directory we have Credential Mapper, Custom Credential Mapper Java, and Custom URL Parameter Mapper. We're going to focus on this first one. In a later video, I will show you how to use the URL Parameter Mapper. But let's not worry about that for now. So go back up to your SRC directory, and you can copy this into your MicroStrategy Web Customization Editor, and you will then have access to this Java class. So once you have access to this Java class, just open it up. You can see that Custom Credential Mapper implements the Credential Mapper class. And it overrides the, or it uses the map login method. So in addition to importing this class file, we're also going to need to import some external jar files. So in order to do that, you right click in your package explorer and go to build path configure build path go to java build path and go to libraries 
from here we're going to add external jar files and we're going to navigate to where our LifeRay portal is installed and go to our MicroStrategy portlet, go into Web and If, and go into the lib directory. We're going to need to import the MSTR portlet jar, Pluto tag lib. So you're going to open those up. Um, but once you do that, you'll see that some of the errors disappear in your custom credential mapper Java class. In addition to those two jar files, we're also going to need to add another external jar, which is the portlet API 2.0.jar. I believe this is a jar file put out by Apache, so you can download this from the internet. Just search portlet API 2.0 jar, and you should get a hit. So download that and import it. And then the javax.portlet will uh, no longer be read. So if you expand the map login class, you can see there's already some code in here. A lot of it's commented out. But what we're going to do is do a quick demonstration by programmatically setting the user and the password for which we're going to log in. So I'm going to use a user D1 and then I'm going to do set password. The password is also D1. We're going to save it. So once we save it, our class file is generated. And we need to go obtain our class file from wherever Eclipse is writing that. And you're going to want to copy that file. You want to copy it into your MicroStrategy portlet that's deployed and you deploy it in the classes folder. So once you deploy it in the classes folder, you're going to need to restart your LifeRay. So you remember we go into bin startup.bat and that will restart your LifeRay portal server. Okay, so once your LifeRay portal server is back up, navigate to your portal server at localhost and then the port. And what you're going to want to do to, to configure your portlet to use your credential mapper class is you're going to want to go to default preferences and scroll down under plugins and where you see your credential mapper class name you're going to want to copy the fully qualified name which includes the package and then your class name and hit submit and once you return to the page you are now going to be authenticated Oh, in addition to setting the credential mapper class, you're also going to need to set your authentication to the guest. So once you do that, you should be authenticated and you can navigate to a report and run it. So this is just a brief example of how to use the credential mapper class. As you can see here, we've hard-coded the login information and that is the user that we have seen authenticate. So in addition to hard-coding the you know UID and password what we can also do is we can utilize the portal servers API as I stated earlier to access the user who is logged in to the portal server currently. So if this user was test test, we could access that UID in this class using the LifeRay API and pass it into this login info. 
And by doing so, we wouldn't need to set the preferences. We could leave this blank. We wouldn't need to set the UID for that user. So that was just a brief overview of, you know, how to use a credential mapper class, some scenarios that you can implement. Uh, there's many more. But basically, a credential mapper and the get session state task call will allow you to mimic maybe your ESM that's currently in your out of the box MicroStrategy web implementation, or just create new custom authentication workflow that will allow you to single sign on users and make the login process, you know, invisible to the end user so they don't have to enter in any credentials and the login is seamless. Feel free to post any questions in the video. Uh, the code that you've seen here will be posted on a link. And thank you for watching.